Hello everyone. Um, this is uh, one research project. For this is uh, one presentation for my research project, and the topic of my uh, research project is the automated path tracking robot based on the P, uh, Pixie Two camera. So my name is uh, Jia Jun Chen, and I am from the electrical engineering department. There, uh, there are four parts of my presentation. Motivation problems, project introduction, methodology, and performance evaluation. So first, we go to see the motivation problems. For the motivation problems, uh, there are two parts. So the application for this project uh, has robot navigation and the autonomous driving, and the technology has been used in, uh, in the like robot navigation and the autonomous driving has environment perception, sensor fusion, and the movement action. So it is uh, uh, widely used our, in our industry or uh, research. Uh, next, we go to see another. So here is the project introduction. Uh, for this part, uh, our project is to design a robot to let the robot find the entrance of the, specified, of the specified road, which is designed by our professor. And then we let the robot follow this path by itself. And when it uh, hits some obstacle, and it, uh, which can avoid this obstacle and uh, follow this road again. So for this project, we have four parts of this project, the entrance finding and the yellow line detection. This road is a black background and with two yellow lines inserted with, uh, in this background. So we have to detect the yellow line and the third is the road following, and the uh, fourth is the obstacle avoidance. Uh, for the hardware design, uh, we have used the Arduino board and the Pixie 2 camera, and the distance sensor to uh, measure the distance. And also the Pixie 2 camera is to capture the pictures. And uh, when we follow this road, we have to deal with uh, with pic this picture to do some process with this data getting get from the camera and the four models to move the robot and turn the robot for the software design we have to develop an algorithm to find the entrance and follow this path so the mass mass part is to uh, like in this slide Find the road and track the road. Find the road and track this path. So we find this road. We have to do the color detection, light detection, and the obstacles avoidance. We want to track this path. We have to do the vector limitation. The vector limitation, which means to is to maintain a proper distance with the yellow line, because our robot is follow this yellow line. Away um, and away, uh, either of this yet, uh, uh, either of this yellow line. So our robot have to follow this yellow line and way to we have to do some distance defined uh, away from the yellow line, and then we have to do the speed control and the obstacles the de uh, detection. So there are two algorithms. Uh, we have. Uh, developed in our project, the entrance finding algorithm and the path following algorithm. Uh, now let's go to the entrance find algorithm. For entrance find algorithm, we have to do the color detection and vector detection. Why we why do we do this? Because we have to let the robot find the entrance. Uh, the road is uh, have two lines, and this two line is yellow color. So first, we let the robot to find the yellow color, and then we let the robot to determine 
that this yellow line, this yellow color is the road, which means it has to be a vector. If it, if it is not a vector, it won't be a road. So we have to find this yellow line and uh, make sure that it's a vector. And we have to find two vectors because there are two lines in the road. So find these two vectors of this road is to, the, is to ensure the robot belief state. This is for the entrance finding. And the, uh, the second is to follow this path. Uh, for this part algorithm, we have to we have to maintain the distance from the yellow from the yellow line. So for the past following, we do the speed control. Move forward, turn clockwise and turn counterclockwise. The angle the angle calculation is for the distance measured from this yellow line. So for the angle calculation, we do the robot direction. The, the angle is between the robot direction and the robot. So we have to develop an algorithm to, to make this angle more smooth and uh, try to make the robot parallel to the, to the yellow line as much as possible. If it has a much angle between this road, it maybe go out of this road. So this is the main point of this algorithm, pass following. And for the obstacles detection, we have to do the distance estimation from ahead, uh, which means if a uh, obstacles ahead, we have to estimate its distance and uh, to do some speed control. And the second is adaptive cruise control. It's also for the obstacles detection. The final part is the performance evaluation. We have to do the three performance of our project. The first is the entrance finding evaluation, uh, which is the, the first uh, part of the algorithm, the entrance finding. So, we have to do the five fifty trials. Sixty percent of the running time was able to do so between sixteen and twenty three seconds to find the entrance. The second part is to evaluate the moving speed. We have one hundred, uh, one hundred and one thousand and eight hundred random measurements. This angle was less than 8 degrees in more than 75% of this running time. And the third performance evaluation is the smoothness, smoothness assessment. So at the maximum speed, the robot was able to traverse the entire course in less than 18 seconds, which means our robot has a good performance if uh, when it goes in this road. So this is our project and uh, thank you.